Sawastika. Welcome to Enchanting Thailand. As a proud Thai native, there's nothing I love more than sharing the magic of my homeland with others. This channel, Enchanting Thailand, is all about helping you, whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned Thailand enthusiast, to experience the wonders of this beautiful country. I want Enchanting Thailand to be your one-stop shop for everything Thailand. Here, you'll find insider tips, stunning visuals, and all the information you need to plan your dream vacation or simply deepen your love for this incredible country. Today, I'm calling all first-timers. Thailand on your travel bucket list? Get ready to be amazed by the land of smiles. But before you pack your flip-flops and head to paradise, let's make sure your trip is smooth sailing from start to finish. In this video, we'll be diving into the top five essentials you absolutely need to know before your first Thailand adventure. From visas and currency to culture and safety, we'll cover everything you need to ensure a stress-free and unforgettable vacation. So, grab a pen and paper, hit that subscribe button, and let's get planning for your first Thailand vacation with NO Mistakes. All right, first things first. Visas can be a real headache, so let's clear the air. Thailand offers visa-free entry for many nationalities, but it depends on where your passport hails from. We'll break it down for you. Is a visa required for your Thai adventure, or can you simply waltz through immigration with a smile? Stick around to find out. Thailand has a variety of visa options depending on your purpose of visit and intended length of stay. The application process for Thai visas can vary depending on the visa type and your nationality. Generally, you'll need to apply at a Thai embassy or consulate in your home country. Required documents may include a passport, application form, photos, proof of travel and accommodation, and financial statements for some visas. In this video, we'll be talking about tourist visa that is valid for single or multiple entries, with a stay duration ranging from 14 to 90 days. Ideal for sightseeing and holidays. You'll have three options. Option 1. Apply for the 60-day tourist visa directly from the Thai consulate or Thai embassy in your home country or your current location before entering to Thailand. Number two, you can enter Thailand under visa exemption with a permit to stay of 14 to 90 days. Please check with Thai embassy or consulate in your home country if you are from the approved country. Number three, visa on arrival. Usually processing your visa on arrival will take 30 minutes at least. The visa on arrival scheme allows passport holders of 19 countries in March 2024 and territories to enter Thailand without needing to apply for a tourist visa from a Thai embassy in their own country. To receive a visa on arrival, a traveler must meet the following requirements. Be from an approved country. Be visiting Thailand strictly for tourism purposes. Hold a genuine passport with a valid expiration date of more than 30 days. Be able to list a valid accommodation address in Thailand that can be verified. This address can be a hotel or an apartment. Must have a confirmed return ticket exiting Thailand within 15 days. Open tickets do not qualify. Traveling overland by train, bus, etc. to Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, including end route to Singapore, Myanmar, etc. is not accepted as proof of exiting Thailand. Provide proof of funds of at least 10,000 Thai baht for single travelers or 20,000 Thai baht per family during your stay in Thailand. Pay a fee of 2,000 Thai baht upon entry. This fee is subject to change without notice. It must be paid in cash and only Thai currency is accepted. You may be asked to show your flight ticket to Thai immigration officials on entering Thailand. If you do not possess a flight ticket to show that you will exit Thailand within 15 days or 30 days of entry, you will most likely be refused entry. Remember, 
it's important to research the specific visa requirements that apply to your situation well in advance of your trip to Thailand. Visa regulations can change, so consulting the latest information from official Thai government sources or embassies is recommended. Now that passports and visa types are sorted, let's talk about that all-important travel companion, money. We'll be diving into the world of Thai currency to help you understand what you'll be dealing with and how much to budget for that delicious pad Thai or a relaxing Thai massage. Don't worry, we'll break down the costs so you can plan your spending like a pro. The currency of Thailand is the Thai bot and is the sole legal tender in Thailand. Exchange rates as of March 2024, roughly 36.1 baht is equivalent to one US dollar. This exchange rate fluctuates, so you can use a currency converter app or website to get the latest rate or daily rates. Thai baht, like the US dollar, may include both coins and bills. The coins are typically used for smaller denominations and purchases, such as a soda from the machine, while bills are used for larger amounts or purchases. The denominations on both coins and bills feature the image of Thailand's current or past kings. There is an additional point to keep in mind concerning Thai currency. It's considered disrespectful in Thai culture to step on banknotes or coins. This is because the king of Thailand is depicted on the currency. Stepping on a loose note or coin will be seen as placing your foot on the image of the king. You never want to do this as it is also considered a crime to disrespect the king of Thailand. Now, let's talk about some average food costs in Thailand. Street foods, incredibly affordable. Expect to pay around 30 to 50 baht for dishes like stir-fried noodles, grilled skewers of meat, or fresh spring rolls. Pad Thai, a classic Thai dish. At street stalls, you can find pad Thai for 30 to 40 baht, while tourist areas might charge 50 baht. A sit-down restaurant could range from 80 to 150 baht depending on location and portion size. High-end food, fancy restaurants in Bangkok or tourist areas can get pricey. Expect to pay anywhere from 500 to 1,000 baht for a main course and upwards of 1,500 baht for a multi-course tasting menu. Of course, fine dining experiences can reach much higher costs. Lastly, Thai massage, relatively inexpensive compared to other spa treatments. A basic one-hour Thai massage at a local shop can cost around 300 to 500 baht. More luxurious spas might charge upwards of 1,000 to 1,500 baht for an hour. Thailand is a land steeped in rich culture and beautiful traditions. To ensure a smooth and respectful experience, let's explore some key cultural do's and don'ts. From proper temple etiquette to the art of the traditional Thai greeting called Why, we'll have you navigating the cultural landscape with confidence. First things first, upon your arrival at the Savarnabum International Airport, Thailand, you will see the traditional Thai greeting. It is called a Y, pronounced just like W, H, Y, Y. It's a beautiful and respectful gesture that combines a slight bow with your palms pressed together in a prayer-like position at chest level. The Y is not only a symbol of greeting in Thailand, but it is also a way to express respect to someone of higher social status, age, or position. It demonstrates courtesy and good manners. The why is deeply ingrained in Thai culture. It's a nonverbal way of showing deference and acknowledging the other person. Using the why properly shows you understand and appreciate Thai customs. The why can also be used to say thank you, to apologize, or to show gratitude. It's a very versatile gesture. Even if you don't speak Thai, a why is a universally understood sign of respect. Thais appreciate the effort from foreigners to greet them in this traditional way. When saying hello with a Y, women add ka, pronounce K, A, H, ka, to the end, while men say krup, pronounced K, R, U, P, krup. 
You don't necessarily need to worry about this as a visitor, but it's a nice touch if you can learn them. Next, we'll talk about when visiting temples in Thailand. As tourists flock to Thai temples for a multitude of reasons, drawn in by a combination of cultural immersion, historical significance, architectural beauty, and spiritual serenity. So, respectful attire is key. Shoulders and knees should be covered for both men and women. This means avoiding sleeveless shirts, tank tops, shorts above the knee, and revealing clothing. Opt for long pants, skirts that reach and at least cover to the knee, and shirts with sleeves. It's customary to remove your shoes before entering the temple grounds. Look for designated shoe removal areas near the entrance. There might be shelves or cubbies to store your shoes. From basic dress code, we move on to temple etiquette. Thailand is a country with rich culture and traditions. It's extremely important to not be viewed as disrespectful by others. A few basic rules of thumb to follow. Remember to dress modestly when visiting temples. This is a holy place. One should never physically touch a Buddhist monk. It's strictly taboo to do so. If a female touches a monk, he can no longer be a monk after that simple physical contact, even if by accident. So please consider that even a small indiscretion may have life-altering consequences for others. Avoid public displays of affection. Be very respectful of religious places. Safety first. Thailand is a generally safe destination, but a little preparation goes a long way. We'll be discussing some important safety tips to keep you worry-free throughout your trip. From petty theft prevention to understanding local emergency numbers, we'll equip you with the knowledge to have a safe and secure adventure. General safety. During your travels, always be aware of scams. Thailand, like many tourist destinations, has its share of scams. Be cautious of deals that seem too good to be true, like gem scams. Be wary of overpriced tuk-tuk rides. Negotiate prices for taxis and services beforehand, and only use reputable tour operators and services. Keep an eye on your belongings. Pickpocketing and petty theft can occur, especially in crowded areas. Don't carry excessive amounts of cash and consider a money belt for valuables. Be aware of drug laws. Thailand has strict drug laws. Penalties for possession or use of illegal drugs can be severe, including lengthy jail sentences. While some substances may be perfectly legal, others may not. Know before you go. Personal safety. Stay hydrated. Thailand has a hot and humid climate. Drink plenty of bottled water to avoid dehydration, especially during outdoor activities. Food and water. Stick to bottled water. Street foods are very popular. Fully cooked or grilled items from vendors are the best choice for a quick snack. Sun protection. Thailand's strong sun can be harsh. Use sunscreen with a protection factor of 30 or higher. Wear sunglasses and consider a hat to protect yourself from sunburn and heat stroke. Motorcycles. While scooter rentals are popular, exercise caution if you choose this mode of transportation. Ensure you have a valid license that covers scooters, wear a helmet, and ride defensively. The rules of the road in Thailand may be different from those in your home country. Know which side of the road to drive. Emergency preparedness. Knowing a few basic Thai phrases can go a long way in case of emergencies or when in need of assistance. Emergency numbers. Store important emergency numbers in your phone, such as the tourist police, one, one, eight, nine. For ambulance service, one, six, six, nine. The fire department is one, nine, nine. Travel insurance. Get travel insurance with medical coverage before your trip. This will help cover any unexpected medical emergencies or trip cancellations. Packing woes got you down? Don't sweat it. We'll be taking a peek at Thailand's weather patterns depending on the time of year you'll be visiting. 
From the tropical heat of the south to the cooler temperatures in the north will help you pack perfectly for your dream Thai vacation. Here's how to pack for northern or southern Thailand. Northern Thailand, temperatures have more variation. It can be hot during the day, reaching 32 to 35 degrees Celsius, 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer months, March, May, but evenings can be cooler, especially in the mountains, dropping to around 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. The winter months, November, February, are mild with highs around 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and lows around 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. When you head north, don't forget to include long pants, light sweaters or long-sleeved shirts, and closed toe shoes for exploring temples or hiking. Southern Thailand consistently hot and humid, with average highs around 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. Lightweight and breathable fabrics are the best for Southern Thailand. Prioritize loose-fitting, breathable fabrics like cotton, linen, or moisture-wicking synthetics. These will keep you cool and comfortable in the heat and humidity. Opt for neutral colored clothing that can be easily mixed and matched to create multiple outfits. Quick drying clothes are a lifesaver, especially if you plan on doing any activities that involve water. And the most important, make sure you pack plenty of swimwear, cover-ups, shorts, light t-shirts, breathable dresses, and comfortable sandals. Because you will be exploring a lot of beaches and islands while visiting the south. A light rain jacket might be handy too during the rainy season, May to October. And there you have it. The top five essential things you need to know before your first trip to Thailand. With visas, currency, culture, safety, and weather all covered, you're well on your way to an incredible Thai adventure. Remember, a little planning goes a long way. So put these tips into action and get ready for unforgettable experiences in the land of smiles. For more Thailand travel tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button on this video. We've got tons of content coming to help you plan your dream vacation in Thailand. In the next video, we'll have a look into Koh Phangan, an economical tropical island paradise. Safe travels and happy exploring!